Hi, this is Tony Sagami. Hey, I want to talk to you with a little different tone this week. Normally I'm telling you about how wonderful business is in Asia, how uh, the economy is booming in China, and those things are still very true this week. But I want to give you a little heads up to what I see that might be a little bump in the road. I'm not sure if it's going to be next week or next month, but I'm starting to see a few warning signs that the correction might be coming. And by correction, I just mean a temporary blip. Uh, one thing about the Asian market, particularly in China, corrections are just part of doing business over there. 20% corrections are as common as, that, common as pimples on teenage boys, so don't be surprised by one. Uh, but I say that for a few reasons. One, uh, the Baltic Dry Index, which is a index of shipping rates for to carry goods across the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, has really fallen. And that's often uh, been a good indicator of a little bit of trouble ahead. Also, the uh, MSCI Global Index recently hit a 10-month high. Uh, Chinese prices, uh, Asian, Asian stock prices in general, have been screaming, and so they are overdue for a little bit of a pullback. Nothing serious, nothing wrong, but if you think that uh, that analysis is correct and you want to look for something to protect or hedge your other Asian holdings, I want to take, you, take a look at the FXP, that's an ETF, FXP. And what that is, that's the ProShares inverse ETF of the, uh, F, uh, of the Financial Times and Xinhua 25 index. That's a real popular ETF on the long side called the FXI. FXI is a long uh, Chinese index of the Xinhua 25, the Chinese Dow Jones. But this uh, FXP is the opposite, and it's double the, in double the opposite. So you'll get a lot of bang for your buck. You don't have to invest a lot of money. If the Shanghai market does go down, the Chinese market goes down, this ET inverse ETF will make a bundle of money. Uh, on top of just participating from the general downturn in, in Chinese stocks, also the top five holdings are all financial. The first four are bank stocks, and the fifth one is China Life, the largest insurance company in, in China. So you have it very heavily overweighted uh, toward the financial ones, and those are the ones that must be the most vulnerable. Uh, because the banking industry over there, like ours, is a little fragile. They have a lot of bad loans on the book. And you got to remember, the Chinese banks are controlled by the Communist Party. So they have tons of little landmines buried in their balance sheets that nobody knows about. So I think those are particularly uh, dangerous stocks to own. And that makes this uh, FXP a particularly effective inverse ETF to own if you want to profit from a downturn in Chinese stocks. I'm not saying you should rush out and buy this. As always, do your own analysis. But if you're looking for a hedge uh, for a Chinese uh, correction, that's the one you want to own. Until next week, this is Tony Sagami signing off.